пробовал мастер работник мэр бизнес экспериментал борг подлекозы айны нижней рисовретис from the Yakov Zinkovich team and uh, I would like to say okay the first my wrong paper about DRV was wrote uh, 40 years ago and uh, uh, I would like to say that because uh, 1987 the DRV problems was the uh, gold age for theoretical all theoretical all theoretical Yes, self model from the sun, comets, uh, up to the uh, Hawking uh, evaporation of the primordial uh, black hole, and so so so. And uh, the uh, theoretical uh, grounds of this uh, project is. Uh, Need the some point about the uh, about the. Um, uh, I would like to uh, observe the main theoretical point in GRB problem. This is our experimental collaboration. There's several about six uh, university, in, main in Russia now, some university in Argentina uh, uh, appear in this list. And uh, some people, some people, how to say, the volunteers, this amateur astronomer, which discovered for us in computer the supernova, nova, and so, so, so. Okay, next time. It, uh, so, the main point uh, of the history, I would like to say, after discovery, of course, not repeat about this, uh, the, at the end of 17 and beginning of 18, years of the last century, the uh, Soviet Union cosmic experiment, uh, Mazet's cosmic experiments, uh, gives the most, uh, uh, most uh, number of information about GRB. 150 GRB per year, uh, per two years, discovered in Mazet's experiment. And he uh, shown firstly the distribution of gamma ray bursts is isotropical. And this uh, picture from the Batsy experiment, from 1000 Batsy experiment, appear at the beginning of 1992. Uh, from other hand, uh, the special distribution of the uh, GRB is uh, uh, homogeneous, uh, but uh, uh, this uh, homogeneity is, uh, must be included the general relativistic effects in the cosmology. And you see here, the, this is our uh, paper, in the, this is one of the, our paper in gold age of the GRB, gold age ended now, because we know the GRB cosmological. And uh, you see we calculated the, uh, because I am initially the specialist in the binary star evolution and uh, black hole and neutron star evolution. Uh, we, uh, using the Monte Carlo method, so-called scenario machine, uh, first we calculated the evolution of GRB in the universe as a merging of neutron stars. But really, you see very interesting that uh, very good coincided between observational and uh, experimental data, batch data, but real cause of this coincidence, coincidence that the time delay of the merging neutron stars is so small. Really, this uh, function depends only on the star formation rate in the universe. Uh, no, excuse me. You see here in our paper we uh, something uh, considered the dark energy as a parameter of the, our work. And uh, Z here is the maximal star formation rate. At that time, nobody knows the maximal star formation rate. When was the star formation rate? 
Now we know that the star formation rate maximum here, and you see the omega lambda is equal 0 0.7. This demonstrated the very good approximation. Next one. But uh, uh, after Beposak's very nice experiment, I think after Galileo looked at the uh, tel by telescope to the moon and uh, Jupiter, this next very important Italian experiment at Beppo Sachs. And uh, in GRB uh, uh, astronomy, the first detection, you see first, detection, first optical detection. And uh, next slide. And at May 97, uh, all people uh, finally understand that uh, GRB are cosmological. The next point, very important, the uh, very cheaper experiment after Hughes, which uh, 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 discovered the pulsars, this next very nice experiment, very cheap, 10 centimeter telescope, 10. Uh, no billion dollars and so, so, so. He discovered the prompt optical, very bright emission, eight magnitude. Uh, the, this revolutionary point in the astronomy, because after that we understand that if you want to see the more distant object in the universe, you do not need the large telescope. You need telescope a small diameter. Uh, but cosmological energy, uh, cosmological nature needs a very high energy. But uh, this is not very wonderful because typical collapse energy is the same. Please. Uh, this energy can be created in two processes, in merging neutron stars or collapse of the massive star was pointed by Belinikov, Sergei, and uh, Pachinsky uh, at the gold age of the GRB science. Okay, next one. Spectrum, spectrum peak uh, energy, one mV, this typical sp uh, temperature in columns. Next one, duration. Duration. The observational duration of GRB is about uh, up to the several uh, hundreds of seconds, not less than the 0 0.1 se second. But uh, next uh, point. But typical collapse time, next one, much more less, five order less, seven order less than the direct collapse of the. Uh, usual method to black hole station because uh, because the uh, typical time is the gravitational radius divided square uh, uh, light velocity is uh, seven million uh, times lesser this is a problem next one solution the main solution is the uh, next one magnetic rotational collapse you mean uh, for the delay of collapse, you must the, uh, stop at the collapse. In the universe, there, are, there is only one force which can prevent the collapse. This force is centrifugal forces. And uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, the most people understand that uh, for the long collapse process, you need the, a lot of angular momentum. Next one. The magnetic rotational collapse history is very old. The first people dis uh, which discussed this, Hoyle, Fowler, Rozernoi, Morrison, Rozernoi, Besnavati, Corgan, Leblanc, and so so people in 60 years. Uh, this uh, works connected with the higher massive star. Besnavati, Corgan, and Leblanc's paper concerning the supernova. And uh, people say that before collapse can be uh, appear the very interesting object, spinar object, which cannot collapse due to the large centrifugal barrier. Uh, uh, in 1983, 
Uh, I propose that uh, spinar can have the small mass, like to several solar mass, and uh, Rashid Suniaev say me at this time that he reads as a, a striker uh, wrote about this 10 years before, but I did not find this paper of a striker. Uh, uh, but Rashid Suniaev usually say, if I came, my postgraduate student, he say, eh, this published by Bacal, this published by your striker. This uh, very important idea, next one. Uh, this some work about the history of spinners, next one. Uh, this another type of the point of view on the gravitational, uh, rotational, uh, magnetic rotational uh, scenario. Usually on the West people use the Wussi scenario when the, usually not all, Mm, uh, the, what is the difference between our point of view and Wussi scenario? Wussi scenario firstly created the black hole, and after that, the uh, common envelope with some angular momentum, uh, envelope with some angular momentum, are created on the black hole. In our picture, uh, we uh, introduce the next picture scenario. This is a star. This is a core. Core must be very large, like to 100,000 kilometers. This characteristic core for the massive star, like to 100 mass. In binary system, a lot of uh, a lot of stars has this moment. And this, uh, after that, uh, all columns have two stage. And uh, the first stage. Uh, the core uh, fall to the centrifugal barrier, the first energy bars. And next one, after dissipation time, you have the production of the finally object, black hole, all neutron star. People say magnetars, not important. Black hole, all neutron star. We propose a very simple, no, 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 no. next one, please. Uh, the uh, simple model published in Astrophysics Journal and monthly notices. You see the very long central engine uh, operated. We model it, including all the relativistic effect. Very simple model, very pure uh, for the understanding. Uh, the three-dimensional model not understandable for usual people. And uh, we must believe to the people what uh, happen it. But here you can uh, change parameter and uh, you see the observational plot of 10,000 work of engine, central engine, due to dissipation of angular momentum. And after that, the four order uh, decay, four order decay due to the relativistic effect, the black hole formatted and very large. Next one. This real time. This real time. The second, yes. This gravitational radius, you see, and our calculation up to the one, uh, one divided two, uh, care metric black hole. Okay, next one. This, is a, but not dependently of the scenario, Wussi scenario or spinar paradigma, you must understand that. Uh, all zoo of DRB can be shown on this diagram. This is a specific angular momentum, like to care parameter of the core of the stars before collapse. Here the magnetic energy, all some viscosity, not important. The viscosity, this dissipation of angular moment, the here higher and low. Here, angular momentum. If the angular moment, if the care parameter less than unity, you have supernova. And if you have large uh, angular moment and large magnetic field, you have only GRB, simple GRB, and several, you see several uh, places, Plato, X-ray flyer, X-ray, um, with precursor, this picture can explain precursor and X-ray flyer after the bars. Okay, next one. Uh, this is our calculation of the rate of the GRB or supernova in the framework as a 
pair uh, electron positron pair collapse in the binary system. This typical rate. This common more or less opinion now. Long GRB massive star, neutral neutral star GRB, including in that picture, only initial con different initial condition. Next one. Is there any new physics near GRB? Usually people think that the usual physics, but uh, Kardashev, Nikolai Semyonovich Kardashev, uh, several uh, years ago, find the maximal limit of the energy of the particle ca which can be accelerated near black hole. You see maximal magnetic field, minimal radius, um, maximal energy, you see, maximal magnetic field equal to electric field and very nice limit, one, div the, uh, one divided, uh, uh, the, the constant uh, same structure, yeah. Yeah, this very high energy, this, this some optimism for our next investigation. Next one. But you see there are a lot of un understandable point in the theory of gamma ray bursts. And uh, 10 years ago, uh, we formulated uh, non-understandable observational situation in gamma ray astronomy, gamma ray burst astronomy. You see three, five, for me, very important point, all known, not for me. The most of them for optical astronomy, discovery of the prompt optical emission, which discussed by Bruce and optical precursor detection, very important. I think the precursor is the key question for the nature of GRB. If your model not consider precursor, your model not explain GRB. Prompt optical polarization discovery and high re resolution optical observation. For, uh, we have at the end of the 20th century and beginning this century, we have this global physical experiment international. All people know this is a cosmic and ground robotic telescope. And next one. And 10 years ago, we started to thinking how we can detect a GRB optical emission from the Russia. That is uh, near the Moscow, you see Russia. And uh, this is first our, our robotic telescope. And uh, <coughs> uh, six years we work at this village. Uh, without any financial support. But after six years thinking, we proposed a new uh, generation telescope, robotic telescope, the, first, the, most, uh, the best robotic telescope first generation is the telescope of Rotsi by Akerlov team, Rotsi 2. Yeah, but we uh, proposed a new uh, telescope uh, with two telescopes on the one mount, with very fast, up to 50 degrees per second mount. And uh, this telescope has small diameter, 40 centimeters, and a large field of view. Uh, each telescope has the four square degrees. But short, very important point, this telescope has the uh, 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 additional moving axis. During the survey, this telescope not parallel telescopes, and we have the eight square degrees per survey of the sky. When we receive alerts from the GRB satellite, uh, gamma ray satellite, we, uh, the telescope still parallel, and we imagine, we, we can receive color imaging uh, or Two polarization, is, uh, two polarization uh, observation of the GRB very quickly, synchronously. And I would like to see this as a, our photometer. I would like to point uh, to stress your attention that the, now this is the only one in the world instrument, white field instrument with color, which can be produced color, synchronous color. Uh, survey, all polarization survey. Next one. This is some our thinking about the roof in the Siberia, very strong situation. The uh, usual Western 
uh, <laughs> how the roof not operated in Siberia. <laughs> yes. And next one. And after that, after receiving the money three years ago, we uh, designed uh, five, uh, four, point, four point in the Russia. You see this uh, far east, uh, the 7,000 kilometers from Moscow. This is uh, uh, Blagovesians, Kamur. This is Baikal, Ural, uh, Caucasus. This is the Sternberg Astronomical Institute New Observatory. This is the old Moscow telescope. This number of time, number of uh, good night per year. You see the Russia is a very sunny, very sunny country. Maybe you don't know about this. <laughs> but Siberia more than Russia. <laughs> you see this uh, uh, Ural mountain. On the left, you see in Moscow 30 nights per year, but in summer, this white nights. Maybe you know the Dostoevsky poems about the white nights. Oh, people know. Yeah, okay. Nights, the white nights not for a few more days. Excuse you? The white nights not for a few more days. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, during now, white oh, nights. Yes, this is really not astronomical night. But we have a lot of nights at the Siberian and the Far East. Next one. This is our telescope in Caucasus. You see this real met uh, metal, red, real optic. This, uh, just a moment, I would like to stress, we have special equipment for such moving of the telescope. Because usually, GRB telescope not operated between uh, alerts. But we understand that a telescope must be operated always. And next one, this is the Ural telescope. That is uh, near the Baikal. Uh, this near the China border, one kilometer for the, of the China border in Blagovesensk. Uh, and come back, uh, maybe come back, not new. You see, these are our telescopes, two, four, uh, 40 centimeter uh, uh, wide field telescope and on each telescope we have very wide field camera with uh, uh, 400 square degrees field of view for the observation of the prompt emission of from for short bars and so so this additional instruments and uh, gives a lot of about terabytes per night information from this small camera. Next one. This is a typical our image. Uh, Ural people uh, imagine this is a well known. Uh, next one. The well known. You see here. This is what you can get. This master imaging in the Ural. Ural. This you see the uh, horse head. Yes. Uh, Hubble field of view like to this one. You see, this uh, usually, uh, when I started with this project, you, usually our academician asked me, what is the diameter of your telescope? Two meter or three meter? What you plan? I say 40 centimeters. 40 centimeters, not telescope. <laughs> but telescope has uh, two uh, parameters, diameter and uh, field of view. If you want to discover something new on the sky, you must have the very wide field. Next one. Uh, this is the principal scheme of the structure of our robotic, all system robotics. All telescope can be operated without people in very strong, in very strong, especially in Siberia system, not uh, a lot of time. Uh, there is uh, two possibilities. There, uh, the, there are three regimes of observation. The first, alert observation. The second, the survey, telescope remote, uh, pre uh, rem remotely observe the sky. And next, you can, uh, using internet, uh, something observe a spe special object on the sky. Next one. Uh, OK, this is very important because uh, uh, our software, which preparing by Zhenya Garbovskoy, yesterday he, uh, he, how to say? Defended his, ah, defended his philosophy. <laughs> yeah, yes, 
usually in uh, USA or in, on the West, very rich country, have the uh, different telescope for different objects. For us, uh, minor planets, people use one telescope for the GRB, another net, for the cataclysmic or nova, supernova, Katzman telescope, so, so, so. We, uh, we write the uh, universal, universal uh, software for identification of astroph all astrophysical astronomical objects on our image in real time. Next one. This is our how to say management center where we control the, uh, this uh, our five Russian telescope and from February this uh, appear new point in Argentina. Is this real time picture? Uh, we have real time picture in the internet, but no, 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 no. And uh, you see, when the all letter green, all okay. When appears some red, <laughs> we phone to the Argentina or to the Far East, and so some people very, very strongly help us. Usually, this connected with uh, some. Uh, electrical problems on the, this very, how to say, dicky mista, как это, Сереж? Wild. Wild. Yes, Wild. yes, it's very, Wild. yeah, next one. And the, in, in fact, the, our net started one year ago, and uh, some result of our work uh, during last years, last year. You see here the diagram of the first pointing on DRB. The most pointing uh, you see here by Uvod, Uvod, 38%, because no weather in, in the space and so so. But Uvod is more or less, uh, how to say, slow moving. And you see if we uh, show the number of prompt observation uh, of GRB, you see this master have the more than half all prompt observation because we have the very uh, quick uh, mounts. And uh, next one. We uh, have about 10 prom prompt observation during uh, 1.5 years, maybe last. Detection, detection six. Uh, no, no, detection, prompt detection, uh, three or four, I don't remember. Two very nice detection and marginally detection in two cases. You see the very uh, nice example of the, our observation in the first September, ten years, uh, two years ago. And another, more than You see this after receiving alert. After one, uh, the some delay on the swift board, and so we lose this something time. But in any case, this is the first pointing, it, it, synchronously from the Blagoveshensk and uh, uh, Baikal. This is very important because we have two polarizator on the each telescope for uh, receiving of the all polarization picture. We need the observation from two telescopes synchronously because uh, the direction of polarization of each telescope different. And uh, uh, after that, uh, the sun uh, set uh, appear in the Ural and uh, Caucasus. All telescope is the same, all CCD is the same, all uh, <laughs> reducing the same. So we received, next one, we received 11 hours of the light curve in the same photometrical system. That's very important, you know, for the observation. Next one. What, uh, what we discovered, uh, next, please. Uh, you, you see this result observation. This uh, brown gamma ray emission, gamma ray emission, fortunately, the precursor Precursor was very bright, and the first signal, first alert, we uh, receiving before main pulse. And main pulse, uh, here started our, this first our observation. You see here uh, gamma, uh, X-ray, 
this optical. You see a very important point. At the 400 second, we detected optical, uh, swift detected X-ray and gamma flyer. The very important, uh, the uh, hard emission strongly correlated with prompt gamma emission strongly correlated with optical emission. In this case, you see, and uh, just some very interesting object which have the plateau more than 10,000 seconds. This is X-ray, you see here. Here, no observation, but you see optical observation gives a, a very, very long plateau. Maybe this means that the central engine continues work. Maybe. Okay, this we try to... Uh, we try to... Uh, where is the reference? This published several... Uh, this published several months in monthly notices. The result, we try to find the common synchrotron spectrum from optics to the gamma ray. You see, for first September, we have a unified spectrum with including the absorption effect, here absorption effect, but we have the very, very nice uh, common spectrum from heart to the optics. Next one. This uh, our estimation of magnetic field of this object, of this collapse uh, in our model. Next one. And uh, next very interesting gamma ray bursts uh, appear at 6th of September, say after one week, you see here. In this case, we pointed after 38 seconds after trigger time by two telescopes. And fortunately, in this case, the optical emission was very bright. And we pointing in the Tunka, in the Baikal region, by two telescopes in different polarization. And we observed the first polarization observation of prompt emission, optical, was done at this time. Unfortunately, in Blagoveshik at this time, uh, we have only testing telescope, not real. Master 2 only after one year. Next one. Uh, this is the first uh, prompt polarization uh, observation uh, of the GRB. Next one, please. Uh, here you uh, can see the result of our observation. Here you see bright V pointing before optical arise, before optical fly arise. That is a GRB, GRB. Red optical, this is our observation. Is this X-ray observation? You see, uh, the GRB is very, very uh, variated with time, but optical is very smooth, you see. Not correlated with hot emission. And next one. You see this uh, light curve of the uh, very bright, certain magnitude, you see. In two polarization, the blue is the one polarization, and it's uh, perpendicular axis. Uh, no differences between two light curves we find with accuracy about 2%. This, this result, I don't understand what does it mean. Okay, and uh, next one. You see this long light curve up to 10 to the uh, 4 seconds. Uh, this is our optical, very, very smooth. Uh, and uh, you see no this correlation between heart and, uh, uh, and the optical emission. Uh, controversy to the 1st September GRB. We detected, during one week, we detected two different <laughs> GRB, that's very remarkable. The, uh, what does it mean? Uh, next one, please. Okay, uh, next one. In the se uh, at the se uh, second GRB, no common synchrotron spectrum. We cannot uh, explain by common synchrotron spectrum, hot and optical emission, no possibility. Uh, uh, maybe uh, so many thanks for uh, doc, uh, Professor Piran for the helping of this 
reduction. And uh, so uh, you see, you see, the, there are two possible uh, sources of the optical emission on GRB, maybe. This not news, because people, uh, some people say about this before. Uh, what are the differences? I think uh, in the, you come back to the one, uh, yes, move. no, 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 назад. Ну вот, вот. Вот, вот, виси хер. I think this is a prompt gamma and X-ray emission. Okay, this is a prompt jet, but this is a moment of the bow shock dissipation starting. Here, you see here, very smoothly. This is a bow shock emission here, you see, parallel, X-ray and optical. This afterglow. In the case of 6 September, we have the origin of the uh, optical emission uh, may be connected with bow shock. But in the 1st September, another situation, maybe reverse shock, uh, the, more, uh, the optical emission synchronously changes with the gamma and X-ray emission. You see, the situation is complicated, uh, needs a new observation maybe. Okay, next one. Next. This publishes, uh, this is, a, uh, this is a evolution of the, first, uh, of the first GRB and, and uh, one week later GRB. You see no common spectrum. Here more or less good spectrum correlated and common spectrum. Next one. Next one. Next one. This is our observation because we have very wide field. We, uh, uh, we pointing uh, our, uh, the, our telescope on the one in the world which pointing to Fermi alerts. No optical telescope, uh, uh, how to say, reacted to the Fermi alerts because they're very large, uh, very large uh, systematic and uh, uh, errors. But you see something, this triangulation, the, this our observation of the short gamma ray bars, and coordinate uh, triangulated by several cosmic apparats. This our result of the prompt emission. You see here. We try to find the, some correlation between prompt. Uh, here, this uh, uh, Akerlov, eight magnitude, you see, eight magnitude. This is uh, a uh, night uh, GRB of uh, 20080. You see here, this is uh, a Six magnitude optical, six magnitude. Every, every uh, my talk I say, the God uh, created this universe, universe so the human can see without any telescope the age of the universe. Our universe like to village, very small, because I can see the 10 billion light year from the Earth without any telescope. And the this GRB is, uh, can be observed as a ratio of one. It's very important, philosophical only. Next, Natasha, come back. You see, try to find something. This is only upper limit, our upper limit. We have the, about six uh, synchronous observation, but no optical emission up to a certain magnitude. This is, uh, uh, our uh, result of the so next one. Okay, uh, but between gamma ray bursts, we use our system for synoptic sky survey. Next one, you see, no, 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 this is very important. This information flow per night. This is uh, for master telescope. This is for very wide field camera. This very quick camera. So with, with very high time resolution, a lot of information we can reduce it during the night. Next one. And uh, you see the, uh, on these uh, graphs, I show the uh, different, uh, most best uh, world uh, synoptic survey. You see Rotsi, Palomar Transient Factory, and uh, Catalina survey. Uh, this is Caltech University. And the uh, master now have uh, very close to the one variant Catalina. 
this is a uh, velocity of observation, square degrees per the night. The square degrees per the night. And, uh, and this uh, limited magnitude. Very important, if you, you know this very nice telescope, this plan, large uh, synoptic telescope, but you must understand, next one by slide, this uh, synoptic survey uh, theorems. If you have telescope, synoptic telescope for the diameter d, you must have the spectral telescope diameter one order more. If people design a telescope eight meter, you must before build the spectroscopic telescope 80 meter. Because 90% of Catalina or Palomar transient factory transient loses because nobody can absorb the spectral. Uh, we have no enough telescope for the 22 magnitude. This problem. And uh, uh, fortunately, master have di diameter 40 centimeter and maybe 80% of our transient discovered uh, have spectral follow-up observation. Next one. This typical picture of our, one of our, our site during several months. Next one, uh, due to survey. What type of the optical transient we discover it? No, all, all what happened on the sky. Next one. This is the first our supernova on the far east. at the very bright supernova. Next one. The so-called, you see the very interesting supernova. Unfortunately, this host galaxy, a very far supernova from the center. I think this very important supernova, uh, so-called pure supernova. No absorption. Common uh, evolutionary progenitor, because far from center of galaxy, you have no massive star, middle star. And you have the common mechanism, binary merging of, of white dwarf, and uh, uh, very important, this, is, uh, this supernova uh, observation. Next one. Yes, 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 yes. This different supernova, which we did not have. You see, uh, we discovered several pure supernova, not connected with brown absorption and so, so, so. And only 20 supernova enough for discovery uh, omega lambda. This is not all ours. We have only one or two, I don't remember now. But 20 supernova have more accurate instrument for the determination of the dark energy. Next one. The typical our discovery. What, what is the, uh, our, what, uh, how, how are we preparing the survey? Every night we imagine uh, the, uh, some area on the sky twice, between uh, two images, 40 minutes, for the, uh, for the filtering of the uh, solar, solar object, solar pl uh, planet system object. You see here, next one, please. I don't know, no, no, before, this is very interesting. You see the people this is not ground, not ground. <laughs> Excuse me, this is a nova, next one. Uh, this first nova which we discovered. And we have in our database a lot of imaging of the sky and we uh, can ref uh, is reference, uh, using the reference our sky, you see the same. Optical transient, and very interesting transient, I don't understand what does it mean. Only very blue spectrum with very white line, 5,000 kilometers width, 5,000 kilometers, a very, very blue. Next one. Next one. Sure, to protect this. Uh, in some case, we discovered optical transient, unknown nature. Okay. This is first asteroid, and uh, we. You see, the, the automatically find it by the, our uh, robotic telescope. And the next one. 
Uh, this uh, comets we discover independently from American system, but maybe 12 hours later at the Baikal uh, point. And next one. You see all our transients during last year. Not as true for you. Ooh, no, no, no. That's our result of the first uh, working of the, uh, our net. You see the, a lot of telegram uh, uh, because we must observe all objects, uh, including the GRB. We have this, uh, a lot of telegrams in, in GCN, Atel, and uh, Minor Planet Centrum, and some telegrams in here. Oh, this bright supernova, maybe. And our plans to this year, we plan to come to the border, out of the border of Russia, and to the Tenerife and Argentina, because you know the white nights in summer have no, we have no a lot of dark night. And uh, this, uh, here we put uh, in February some very white field camera. I would like to stress, uh, now we have in world several very wide field camera projects. The uh, P of the Sky Poland project and the American project, uh, American project. Okay, <laughs> and Russian project, master very wide field camera. We have 12 uh, very wide field camera with uh, half thousand square degree each field of view. And so we have 4,000 uh, 4, square degree common field of view up to 13, 14 magnitude. This is the best result on this uh, moment. Next one. This last winter, Russian winter, but uh, Argentinian summer is very nice. Uh, this is Argentinian people. Argentina is a very nice country. A lot of nice night. Now we have the objective information about this place. But Argentina, uh, the, but Chile f fight these uh, battles, astronomer battles. But here, no money, internet free, electricity free, uh, science, interesting science is very high, it's very nice. There's 50 kilometers from Chile. No charge. Usually people from Chile say 20,000 euro per, per year. Uh, <laughs> per year. <laughs> this uh, next one. And uh, you know that we, our team uh, work at the Lomonosov experiment. Uh, two very wide field camera uh, can be operated on the Lomonosov satellite. Next one. And this more long uh, time plan. plan Yes, thank you very much for this question because we in Moscow State University firstly, first time calculated the emerging rate, neutron star rates in the universe and our estimation one per 10,000 merging per uh, galaxy like to, like to uh, Milky Way. And we calculated the evolution, uh, this evolution merging rate, and no contradiction between this hypothesis and observational, but you must understand that uh, the merging uh, in the universe, every minutes one merging uh, of neutron stars. During my talk, four, 40 merging of neutron stars in the universe. But due to the narrow jet, not all come to the S. And uh, if you include in consideration the angle, solid angle of the jet statistic, you uh, understand that neutron stars is very nice candidate for the short GRB. For, uh, but the black hole has almost no time. Huh? And 
Black hole and neutron star. Black hole, black yes, we, we have calculation uh, the black hole with neutron stars, but this uh, may be more important for gravitational wave astronomy because black holes have more mass, and we especially calculated for the LIGO experiment, and we predicted the first LIGO uh, gravitational wave will be detected from the black hole, black hole merging because very high amplitude of gravitational wave. Usually, black hole, black hole merging per, for Milky Way, one per 300,000 years. Neutron, neutron star, one per 10,000. But because this object, this event is more bright in gravitational waves, it's more important. And, uh, but uh, I would like to stress that uh, the detail calculation of black hole, black hole, or black hole, neutron star measure more accurate than the for neutron neutron stars measure because we see a lot of neutron stars on the sky radio pulsar magnetars uh, x-ray pulsars x-ray barster all this object including in our scenario machine which we uh, 40 years ago started in moscow okay